Hey church, welcome to Spark for Friday. Um, generally, I play some music for you guys. I sing a worship song, uh, talk a little bit about those sorts of things. Uh, but today my wrist is actually kind of hurting quite a bit. I'm having a flare up in my wrist, so it's really hard to play guitar. Um, sometimes life throws us curveballs. We got to understand uh, that that's going to happen sometimes and kind of roll with the punches, if you will. So today I will not be playing a song for you guys. Um, you'll have to wait until Sunday for that, trying to rest my wrist up a little bit, be ready for Sunday for our live stream services at nine o'clock in the morning for our traditional service and 1115 for our contemporary service. Uh, those will both be streaming on Facebook. Uh, so you can check out Facebook live there for our Sunday services uh, today. Since we're not singing a song, I figured I would read a song to you, uh, for all intents and purposes. That's exactly what it is. And Psalm 87, Psalm 87, it says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home in the swallow nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts. Be my king. And my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you and whose heart are on the highways to Zion as they go through the valley of Baca. They make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. That is Psalm 84, at least part of Psalm 84. And the reason I say we are, are reading a song there, um, many, many, many of the Psalms were songs that were sung at the temple. That one was specifically for the director of the choir. Um, and the choir would be singing at the temple as sacrifices were being made uh, in Jerusalem there. 24-7, 365, there was worship going on. There was uh, worship in the form of music. There was worship probably in the form of dancing at that time. Um, there was definitely sacrifices being made at the different altars throughout the temple. Uh, so those things were happening all the time in Jerusalem. Um, setting the example really for us, we should be in constant worship. We should be worshiping God in our thoughts, in our words. Uh, we should be singing songs of worship and joy. Uh, one of the songs we sing frequently is inspired by Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty, my soul longs and even faints for you. Better is one day in your courts, better is one day in your house than thousands elsewhere. So I'll leave you with that today. A little bit shorter spark for Friday. It has been a long week. Man, I'm looking forward to church on Sunday. Uh, hopefully you are too. Join us, as I said, Facebook Live, 9 a.m. for our traditional service, 11.15 a.m. for our contemporary service. And we are looking forward to seeing you there. Hope you have a blessed afternoon. Take care.